Hey guys, it's DC here and today I want to explain to you what the difference between a cybersecurity engineer and a cybersecurity administrator is. <laughs> In IT, different roles have different titles just like in every other job. And if you look across different IT jobs, you'll notice that there is always an administrator job and an analyst job as well as an engineer job. Today I'm going to be talking about the engineers versus the administrators. So to put it down shortly, the administrators are on more of an entry level position but not really at the same time. An administrator's role in cybersecurity is often pretty much exactly the same as an analyst and sometimes it depending on which organization you can work from is also called an engineer. And this is probably why things get so confusing. Usually in IT, an administrator is someone who's administering that particular area. So for example, there's network administrators or systems administrators or cybersecurity administrators. Now it's not exactly the same as something like a network engineer or a systems engineer or maybe even a cybersecurity engineer. Usually the engineer has a little bit more of a role in actually implementing changes and completing projects for whoever is managing that department. A good example of this in cybersecurity is uh, in the SOC team that I used to work for, we had cybersecurity administrators. And what they would do was basically going through different network logs, going through the tickets, going through all of that stuff and working on the day-to-day -day procedures of getting stuff done. So. For example, there's tickets, and I mean tickets from uh, like system alerts, not so much tickets from uh, customers or staff. And what they're doing is they're going through there and they're administrating the system. They're going through making sure everything is working as it's supposed to be, ironing out all the creases, doing the day-to-day -day job of just getting stuff done. Now the engineers in that organization, in this particular SOC that I was working in anyway, they did more of the project work. So I was on a project team, that was my whole entire role as a SOC team lead there, and I had to do a project. And I would pass down work from the management and risk and compliance meetings and all of that sort of stuff, and I would take them down to the engineers. Now the engineers would be talking with the administrators asking, oh, you know, do you think it's possible we could do this and what's it gonna entail and is it gonna break anything, blah, blah, blah. All that sort of stuff because they're not working in those systems every single day like the administrators are. Those guys are literally going through there and checking that everything is working every single day. The engineers in that particular organization anyway were completing projects. Now outside of the projects there was other stuff that they can do which was mostly to do with ticket escalation from the administrators. But to be honest, for most of the job for an engineer was to get those projects done. And there's no shortage of projects in that particular organization anywhere. There was almost 10 years worth of projects lined up. And at the same time, those administrators, they're not really likely to lose their job anytime soon because the systems are forever changing and those engineers are eventually going to have to hand over whatever projects they've done over to the engineers to uh, over to the administrators to administer. So I guess the the main difference is that the administrators are doing day-to-day -day tasks of making sure everything is working smoothly and the engineers are working on project work to implement new systems. The engineers would then talk to the administrators and they would pass down whatever needs to be done onto the admins so that they can basically make sure all of those systems are working. Now you're probably wondering what an analyst does and really most analysts are just going through logs to be honest. And there's different levels of analysts though. There's and it depends on how the organization is set up and you know what the job description of each of these titles is. So like it's all well and good me saying oh the administrators only administer and the engineers only do project work. It's it depends on which organization you're working for and if it's gonna be different for them. I'd love a world where IT jobs actually represented what that person does. Like, if you actually had someone that was like, this guy is a log viewer, that's his job. 
that would be nice. But then there's like web developers as well. But are they front end or are they back end or are they a full stack or you know, what are they doing? It's like asking how long a piece of string is to be honest. No one knows exactly what that person's doing except for themselves. But that's just the nature of IT unfortunately. So yeah, that's um that's basically all I really wanted to talk about today is the difference between an engineer and an administrator in my own experience. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say and where, what it's like in your organizations that you're working for. Uh, please do leave a comment in the comment below. And yeah, let me know and let everyone else know who's potentially watching this video what the difference between an administrator and an engineer is where you work. Or maybe those positions don't exist and they just have analyst level one, two, three, etc. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. It's been fun as always. Please do leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later.